guess who came back Looking for the payback Flossing with the words like I'm riding in the Maybach The gang discovered me like a needle in a haystack Expo Okay I just want y'all to know that I give a booty call to be here tonight With that, I don't know another We have, so we have two really dope features Yes, me too We born in Tonga And she graduated from NYU Take that bill right to the Republicans Who don't like immigrants That's right, I got that video tape be riding around real slow, Corvette with the flow. It's how I make my dough. Fast money, smart money. I learned that I'm surrounded by the viewers and You're feeling like frustration, voter registration, hat. Just like hats. It's where we put off the travel for brain. Feature tonight is a three time national poetry slam finalist. A multiple winner at the He's featured on HBO Deaf Poetry. He's recorded with Grammy Award winner Louis Vega, and he grew up in the Bronx and Washington Heights. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the stage our last poet of the night. Give it up for Obvious. Clap as Obvious comes. to speak to all of you today. So, to explain that, <clears throat> I want you to picture a beautiful sunny summer day in the Bronx of New York City. With a Dominican slash Puerto Rican family so large that you've got six grandmothers. So imagine how good the food at the cookout must have been. <laughs> Now the taste so close to sin, with so many flavors, your taste buds would have thought they were having an orgy on the day they lost their virginity to a plate of my mother's arroz con pollo. Can you imagine if you still had that second stomach? <laughs> to allow room for how much they would fulfill you. I want you to picture growing up with four sisters, two brothers, and you were really close to one. The one you shared a bed head to toe with. The one you used to make syrup sandwiches with. The same one who used to fight over cereal with. And probably the fact that he took your last pair of socks and shit, that one. The same one who was there all those years, even when Pops left. The same one who years later you disconnected with. Only to find out that you, when you reconnect again, he kills himself. Now, you can imagine life's episodes, you can imagine life's episodes of happy days for me and my family were over. And you can imagine the seasons changing in the weather because whether you like it or not, the rain became synonymous with his downfall. His fall of the 225th Street Bridge. His uprise three days later floating above Harlem's waters. So imagine having to identify your brother's body at an autopsy. Imagine having to tell mommy and daddy in a room full of your family, he's gone. Imagine the close casket because coming face to face with a face that had been disfigured by God's fish in the Hudson River was something no one in the room wanted to confront at face value or imagine what it was like to go back to his room for the last time only to sense the stench of death in the atmosphere. Imagine you were there going through his clothes like you were picking cotton in the field because you felt like a slave to your own guilt. Imagine the pain I felt. Imagine how I'm supposed to search for hope. Imagine all the tears that I held back so that I 
could cope with the loss of my only brother. Fuck that. Imagine the turnover. The spiritual mutation that allowed me to speak to millions when his spirit entered my tongue, his gift that lives in me, my scream, his exhale with all his breath and life in each syllable. Imagine me being capable of changing just one person with one poem of the mothers that have cried on my shoulders, the street soldiers that are willing to put down their weapons, and any other person in this room right now who's willing to listen, not to me, but to a kid who screams in this lifetime were never loud enough. That's why I'm telling you, I'm proud to be the one who is carrying his new voice. I am the spirit of my brother Zinc Blue in new flesh, and together someday proudly, proudly we're both gonna fade to black. Because a life without this gift of poetry, shit, I can't ever imagine. This poem uh, that I'm going to do now, um, I want to see if I can squeeze in a couple more. Um, I know we got to be done by 10, right? So I know we got like 10 minutes, 5 or 6 minutes or something. 6 minutes. So I'm going to try to squeeze in two. Uh, maybe I'll do this one. This is, uh, this kind of like finishes a, a trilogy of sorts, poems about my mom that I've done. So uh, this is the new one. <clears throat> Mama, many have spoken of you in darkness, when in fact, you are the light. I said, Mama, so many have spoken of you in darkness, when in fact, you are truly the light. The flare that illuminated, that illuminated the room for me, Pop, Sancocho, I don't even like Sancocho, don't judge me. I don't like some culture, but a diablo mommy yours had this god centered aroma that could fumigate the negative tension in the atmosphere. And the only thing that could survive it were the instruments of your love bug. Mama, you hugged us, tucked us into the bed, and told us that tomorrow was going to be gift wrapped. You brought so many tomorrows gift wrapped. How can I deny the nucleus of your heart's light in the center of my darkest days? You are the light. There is no other way to explain your brilliance. How you kept bringing hope to a family incarcerated by poverty. You taught us how to be academically trained in the field of pride, so we framed our food stamps like diplomas. No one should ever attempt to dim your clothes. Do you know what it's like to have a mother who can reward a report card like a medal of honor? Me and my mama don't always see things in the same light. Opinions crashing into the scenes of moons because my tongue is like an owl that still needs training. You illuminated my sky when my body was a dark hallway in the absence of my father's love. When your fist kept me from walking crooked, your opinion mattered like a trophy I've been wanting to earn my entire life. You were the light that kept us from breaking into pieces in this puzzle. Then me maldita vida, flashlight out of any cave in my mind that would trap me in the corners of depression. Tu arena de negrito, that fucking cream of wheat. For those of you who have trouble understanding Espanol, was a bubbling hot bowl of salvation that made up for our thin jackets in the winter. I'm spinning all over the place, but I'm really give a fuck right now. You were the spark that confused the shit out of Con Edison. We conned Edison by paying the electric bill with a house full of pounding hearts. That and the fact that we lit up candles on the weekends to save papers with dead guys on it who quote in God we trust when you're the only God I ever had proof of. You cannot light me a new castle. There would never be another lantern that could ever replace your guidance. I will smash every light bulb in sight that tries to come close to any idea of how brilliant you were. You are gleaming with through your pores with more beauty than my pupils could ever paint for this audience. The world will have to surrender to your truth, mama. If this is the last thing that I do, it will be the first thing I've ever been proud of in my life. Mujer, you are the light, the antidote to all that is darkness. I know this because the only medicine to a man's rage is a woman's love. Thank you. Turtle slow me down, not clever. Feeling good in my lane in this new era. A little bit of traffic, no hay problema. Always find my way through the street chambers. This kid's so smart, nobody can blame.